few months ago I upgraded from an RX 580 to an RX 5700 XT and I had pretty heavily overclocked the RX 580 whenever I had it for a few months I still have the card but I decided I kind of made the wrong decision and I decided to upgrade so I got the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 5700 XT and I decided I would try to find information and stuff on how to undervolt the card as I knew it was quite a power hungry card and people were saying that it did get quite hot and that undervolting it would make it a bit cooler and therefore run better. So I found out that on my travels through YouTube and stuff that there was very few videos actually of people giving their sort of setup I guess their settings for the graphics card for this specific one because each RX 5700 XT is a bit different so there's very few on this actual specific card so I thought I'll show people mine and hopefully I can get some feedback in mine and maybe it'll help some other people so because I've I, this is not going to be um, the best by any means so if you want to know how to get to the tweaking section of your card you open up the radeon software go to performance and then click on tuning and you'll be, uh, be met with this screen you can then click manual on tuning control and then just enable all of these so you can have control of all of them the first thing i would recommend doing is s s turn on advanced control for your fans and just make a fan curve for some reason on my card you can't go any lower than 26 percent of fan speed uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a way to change that because that's quite annoying but there was a recent driver update which kind of changed that for some reason and then I think it was to fix an issue where the card wasn't uh, the fans weren't ramping up correctly but my card didn't suffer from this issue so you know I want to try to revert it the second thing is well you can choose basically you can choose between frequency of your card which you control here or you can choose your RAM speed, your VRAM speed. So I decided to go for frequency. The voltage here, as far as I know, controls the power going to your card in total. The RX 580 had separate voltage controls for your RAM and your uh, frequency. So um, I believe this is just for the entire card. So what I did is I made a profile. So once you're finished, you can save profile up here. You click three dots and click save profile, then apply changes and stuff. So I've made two profiles, they're basically the same, but this one's just slightly different, slightly better. So I've got this, that's not, that is not correct. Hold on. There we go. I don't know, it just, you have to load it twice for some reason. So this is the fan curve I have. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not the best. I would love to be able to take that lower, but I can't. So I'm going to try to fix that. But the frequency here is the main thing. So I've taken the power down by 99 uh, millivolts, which is quite significant, I think. Um, it's, I mean, it's about a twelfth, so it's getting about a twelfth less power, which I think is quite a bit. And the card is definitely cooler because of it. And I've taken the frequency down by 19 uh, megahertz. The reason for that is because the card, I found, I have a few tests that I'm going to put on screen. And whenever I put the card up to 2079, with the voltage being 1100 millivolts, it performed worse than a 2060. And I know I could just up the voltage, but I want to try to keep the card as cool as possible. So, you know, I don't want the fans ramping up too loud or anything like that. So I was pretty happy with this. I haven't tweaked the frequency at all, because I find that yet again with these settings, if I up the frequency at, at all, it would lower the score on Heaven Benchmark. So I know I could just take the frequency down up the, up the frequency here, and that might make it a bit better, but I kind of understand it, but I'm not the best at it. So this is kind of why I'm making the video because I want help, but also this might help other people kind of get an idea of how to undervolt their card. And now the Nitro Plus does have two BIOSes on it, which you can switch between using a switch on the graphics card itself, or you can actually switch that to a third position and you can change it in the uh, the software, the uh, trick software I think from Sapphire, but I decided just to go into the performance BIOS and just tweak it myself here, which as far as I know I've seen a couple tests and or I've seen one video where a guy did basically this and this sort of setting, doing it yourself were much better and is a lot more stable than doing it the other way. So to provide an explanation of what's happening here, 
The frequency is basically CPU frequency. It's the same idea. It's how fast your card operates and processes things. Your voltage is how much power the card's getting. The higher the voltage, the hotter your card's going to get. Fans, obviously, just the speed your fans go up. And your RAM is just, it's the exact same thing as the RAM in your computer. It's just, it's faster because it's VRAM, as far as I can tell. So, you can increase either of these. But I currently have it, so this is the lowest voltage that I could get to where this card, this is the lowest voltage I could get it to where this frequency was actually pretty stable. It was giving me a pretty good score and have a benchmark. I've spent many, many hours playing with these thought, or with these settings and stuff and it's perfectly fine. So any higher, it didn't really affect anything and any lower, it's uh, got a worse score. So I've left it at this. And I really don't know about frequency of the RAM, so I actually forgot to say about power cheating. So this section tells you how much power your card is currently consuming, and it also lets you use this slider to change the power limit percentage. So it's normally set at zero, and you can go to minus 50 and plus 50 percent. What this basically does is it controls the maximum amount of voltage that your, or the amount of the maximum amount of power that your card can take. So if it's set at zero, there might be some instances where you'll be playing a game and you get a pretty resource intensive part in it and you'll be wondering why am I stuttering or why, you know, am I only locked at like 70 frames per second or something? And it's probably because your card isn't getting enough power. So regardless of what settings you have here, if you just up this to 50, like all the way to the right, it means that your card will probably never encounter a situation where it won't get enough power. So it doesn't mean that your card will get more power, it just means that if it ever needs more power than it currently is allowed to get, then it'll be able to get it basically. So if your card ever needs more power, it'll be able to get it and it just, it won't really affect anything. It just means that if you get to a pretty heavy part of a game or something like that, or it's doing a pretty resource intensive task, it means it can get the power it needs to actually output the performance. So anyway, back to the video. That's it. Um, I hope this has kind of helped. Maybe. If you have any sort of feedback for me on what to do, I would love to hear it because I would love to get more out of this card, but also keeping it kind of quiet. And I'll give an update on this if I can actually fix it, if anybody's interested in it. But yeah, part of the reason why I'm making this video is because the PC uh, showing off video thing got quite a few views unexpectedly, so I want to see if this gets views as well. Because I can do the exact same thing for the RX 580 in terms of stats if anybody's interested. But anyway, bye.